Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and in this video, we will see about the temperature coefficient of resistance as well as resistivity. The resistance is usually denoted by R and the resistivity is denoted by Rho. Now, we have already seen in our last lecture that R is equal to Rho L divided by A. Okay, this is the relation between resistance, the length of the conductor and the area of cross section and here we have this row is the constant of proportionality and it is often called as the specific resistance or resistivity so what is resistance we have already seen that this resistance is the opposition to the flow of current or we can say that this resistance is the opposition exerted by the conductor to the flow of electrons and this resistivity is the property of the material because of which it opposes the flow of electrons or we can say that it opposes the flow of current so this is the opposition and this is the property of the material now let us go to our topic so we have to find out the temperature coefficient of this resistance as well as resistivity we will consider some conductor suppose this one is one conductor it has a length suppose capital L let us assume that let us assume this metallic conductor has a resistance r naught okay this is the resistance r naught at a temperature of at a temperature of suppose t0 degree celsius suppose we have a conductor metallic conductor this one and the resistance of this conductor is R0 at temperature T0 degree Celsius. Now, what we will do? We will increase the temperature because we have to find out the temperature coefficient. Now, if there is a change in temperature, change is denoted by delta T. Okay, this delta T is equal to suppose now the temperature is T1 and previously the temperature was T0. So this will be equal to T1 minus T0. This is the change in temperature. Now what will happen? When we will change the temperature, obviously the dimension of this wire will change. It will expand. It will increase its cross section as well as this length. So the resistance of this conductor also will increase. Suppose there is a change in resistance. Now let the new resistance after the temperature rise now the new resistance b r t change in resistance is equal to what will be the change in resistance r t minus r naught because this was the r naught was the initial resistance here we have seen r naught okay so this is the change in resistance that is delta r okay delta r is equal to r t minus r naught now let us see how we can find out some characteristics of this change in resistance we have to find out the expression for change in resistance delta r so the change in resistance delta r is directly dependent on the initial resistance r naught so initial resistance is what r naught now we can write the change in a resistance that is delta r depends on initial resistance initial resistance so what is the initial resistance initial resistance is r naught so what we can write that this delta r is directly proportional to r naught this is dependent on initial resistance provided that there is no fluctuation after the temperature change so this condition is fulfilled for fixed value of delta t that is for fixed uh, some amount of change in temperature for fixed delta t so this is valid for fixed delta t suppose we have one conductor suppose this conductor is the length is one meter okay the length is one meter suppose we have another conductor okay suppose the length of the second conductor is suppose two meter now there is a suppose temperature rise in these two conductors okay so what will happen there will be some increment suppose this is the 
length of this conductor is increased because of the expansion of the conductor okay so for the second conductor there will be different amount of expansion therefore this length will be more than this one okay so that means suppose this conductor is this length is changed to here okay so this is the amount of delta l1 suppose this is suppose l1 and this is delta l1 suppose this is l2 and here we have this amount is delta l2 so this delta l1 and delta l2 is not same so when this change in length is not same for the fixed amount of temperature change this delta l1 is not equal to delta 2 this depends on the initial resistance that is initial resistance is dependent on the length and the cross section of the conductor this is the length and this is the cross section of the conductor so we have shown only the length of the conductor because this length increase is not proportional here so length increase is different for both the conductor therefore the change in resistance of these two conductor will not be same they will be dependent on the initial resistance of the conductor and the initial resistance will be dependent on the length as well as the cross section of the conductor and as well as the material of the conductor therefore we can say that this delta r is proportional to r naught or we can say that the change in resistance delta r depends on initial resistance of the conductor that is the r naught here so in the second property what we can say this delta r or the change in resistance is directly proportional to the change in temperature delta t and this is valid for fixed r naught value so this is the second relation delta r that is the change in resistance is directly proportional to the change in temperature provided that they have a fixed r naught value so for same type of material same length and same area of cross section the change in resistance is directly proportional to delta t or the change in temperature or we can say that the increase in resistance is directly proportional to the increase in temperature now let us go to our third point in the third point we have this delta r is dependent on the material of the conductor so there will be some temperature coefficient of resistance of the conductor so for different type of conductor this delta r will be different delta r is different for different material or we can say that this delta r depends on the nature of the material delta r depends on nature of the material of the conductor so before going to this third point now let us combine this first point and the second point in the first point we have found that this delta r is proportional to r naught that is the initial resistance and in the second point we have seen that this delta r is proportional to the change in temperature so now if we combine this first point and the second point delta r is proportional to r naught into delta t delta r or the change in resistance is proportional to r naught delta t so now what we can write we have to replace this uh, symbol of proportionality so what we'll have delta r is equal to so we have to replace with some proportionality constant so usually we use alpha so alpha r naught delta t okay this alpha is nothing but this is the temperature coefficient of resistance so this alpha is the temperature coefficient of the resistance and this alpha has different value for different type of material so in this third point we have seen that this delta r depends on the nature of the material of the conductor so suppose this is equation number one so from this equation what we can write alpha is equal to delta r divided by r naught delta t okay r naught delta t if we assume that r naught is equal to 1 ohm and delta t is equal to 1 degree celsius so for r naught is equal to 1 ohm and delta t is equal to 1 degree celsius so what we'll have this alpha is equal to delta r so for 1 ohm initial resistance and the change in temperature of 1 degree celsius this alpha is equal to delta r or we can say that the change in resistance is equal to the temperature coefficient of the resistance of the conductor 
so this is the relation for 1 ohm initial resistance and 1 degree celsius change in temperature so this alpha is defined as the increase in resistance per ohm per degree rise in temperature so from equation number one we can write so this is the equation number one so from one implies we can write delta r is equal to alpha r naught delta t so this is the equation number one now from this equation number one we can replace the delta r so delta r is suppose r t minus r naught so r naught is the initial resistance and r t is the resistance after change in temperature so this is nothing but this delta r so this is equal to alpha r naught delta t so what we'll have now r t if we take this r naught to the right hand side what we'll have r naught plus alpha r naught delta t r t is equal to r naught if we take common we'll have one plus alpha delta t again if we simplify r t is equal to r naught 1 plus alpha delta t is t1 minus t0 okay we have already considered this one see delta t is t1 minus t0 so we have replaced this delta t with t1 minus t0 that is so this t1 is the temperature after increase and this one t0 is the initial temperature so this is another relation okay this is suppose equation number two this rt is the resistance after the temperature change this rt is the resistance after temperature change so this resistance after the temperature change now if we want to find out the delta rho delta rho is the change in resistivity okay now we'll see the change in resistivity so we have already seen that r is equal to rho l divided by a this rho is the resistivity here from here we can write rho is equal to r a divided by l so this relation we have obtained from our previous class so from equation number one this one we have delta r is equal to alpha r naught delta t so equation one implies delta r is equal to this is alpha r naught delta t now if we multiply both right hand side and the left hand side of this equation with a divided by l if we multiply both side the equation will be same okay alpha r naught a divided by l and delta t so what will happen now this so from this expression what we can see this is nothing but r a divided by l is it is the resistivity that is the specific resistance or a resistivity so delta r into a by l means this is change in resistivity change in resistivity okay so in the right hand side we will have alpha r naught into a l a by l means so this is the initial resistivity into delta t okay so if we now replace this delta t with t1 minus t0 what will have change in resistivity is equal to alpha rho naught or that this rho naught is the initial resistivity and t delta t is the t1 minus t0 okay t1 is the change temperature and t0 is the initial temperature so similar to this equation number two we can define the change resistivity okay so from two we can write rho one that is the change resistivity that is the resistivity after the temperature change okay is equal to initial resistivity whole into one plus alpha whole into t1 minus t naught uh, this is the resistivity after the temperature change so this much for today so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you